Team, we've made it. We've made it to peak week. Hope you're very well. We are gonna get into today's vlog, which is how does it feel to be one week out from a bodybuilding show? However, we're gonna run through that as normal. However, we do have some news at the back end of the vlog, which I think you guys, especially you guys who actually watch these styles of vlogs, because essentially these ones tend to get less views. So I know this is like the core following, right? You're the homies, which is good. Um, but yeah, essentially, um, we got some some good news at the back end of it, uh, which you might appreciate, or well, maybe not. Anyway, we're just gonna get into this week. So this week in terms of scale weight, uh, we did hit a new low weigh-in of 69.4, which is good. Realistically, I think that that's probably gonna be my limit. Um, I might be able to go down to like 69.3, stuff like that. But realistically, I think that that's all my physique can really handle. I don't think I should get any leaner than that, quite simply because I think that I'll be too flat to the point of which I probably can't fill it up in time for show day, which is not worrying because I we've got it under control. Me and AJ have actually got daily check-ins from now, um, so that's good. We're just going to assess a physique daily. That's kind of what daily check-ins are. But... We we've kind of found like right we can't go we can't go lower than this point we just run too flat, so that's the plan of action. So on Mon or Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday we basically and Thursday we had low days. Um so yeah basically low until Friday then we basically carved up um like a refeed like we normally do four fifty carb and then five hundred carb. The five hundred carb was actually a bit of an accident because essentially <laughs> anyway. A pouch of rice that I normally have. We went for another brand and it actually had nearly exactly like, I think I had like 24 grams of carbohydrates extra in each pack. So I actually carved up on like 500 grams of carbs on that second day, which actually presented a really fucking good look. So we've actually got that data and we're actually going to take that data into show day. Um, so it's likely the exact number we're going to have on show day is going to be that. So that's kind of a, a cool little fuck up. But essentially, yeah, we had low days, high days um, on Friday and Saturday, and then on Sunday back to baseline. So that's basically you're all caught up and or caught up in terms of scale weight training. Uh, we've basically, um, yeah, that was the last week of the measure cycle. So I, I'm not gonna lie, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I felt like fucking death. Um, last week was was very very rough. Um, there's a few things or a few different rationales like why this is happening, obviously workload being one of them. Number two, obviously being at the back end of prep, you're gonna feel like shit. But number three, which I think is the main causation is, I need a deload. Um, and obviously with peak week, or maybe not obviously, um, if you don't know how they run, peak week is basically like a deload. You just, yeah, you, you kind of like, you, you don't really wanna be training balls to the wall in that last week, um, especially you just wanna like limit like in, inflammation basically. So. Uh, yeah, we we obviously try and uh, try to get rid of that, try to get rid of fatigue and, and stuff like that. But yeah, um, I think it's a combination of basically everything. Um, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I just felt like death, and it actually even to the extent extent of like maybe even Thursday and Friday, I did feel pretty piss poor. Obviously, when we started to introduce carbohydrates, it kind of alleviated some fatigue, like to some level. So I feel okay now, but yeah, that that was a rough week. Um, so. Yeah, it's it's over, which is which is good. Um, but obviously, we're tapping into new levels of like leanness, right? Uh, new new levels of shreds. So it was bound to happen. But yeah, energy wise, I was just zapped. Um, didn't really want to move off the sofa or anything. It's just like the harsh realities of being at the back end of prep, along with needing a deload. And obviously, if you guys have trained very very hard for an extended period of time you know what that back end of the mesocycle feeling is like. It's not it's not very nice. Throw that with being stage lean. <laughs> it's a it's it's a joke. Um but yeah I mean I've only deloaded once the whole entire twenty one weeks of dieting. Um and that was like post Houston and like post Houston was like nearly eight, nine weeks ago now. So yeah, I've basically completed like the whole of prep with a three day D volume. Uh the whole of it. So yeah. That's probably why I feel a bit like, or felt like crap last week. Anyway, um, look-wise, I feel like I look 
banging like uh, not saying that i'm gonna win shows or anything but it's definitely like the best look i've ever had um when we pushed in the 500 grams of carbs i woke up on that sunday and i felt full as a fucking house and i was very 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 happy with the look um it's my best look to date 100 percent hands down so very happy with that um and yeah that's pretty much about it so what are we doing for the next week what's the big news what's what's exciting we are actually going to be running daily vlogs so every single day for the rest of prep which is only a week we're going to be running daily vlogs this is number one then obviously <laughs> tomorrow's going to be number two but basically now i'm going to take you through my whole day so how i set up my day the things that are going on behind peak week because i think a lot of people think that peak weeks are this like weird and wonderful specimen right but i'm basically going to show you exactly how i run peak weeks and how I run peak weeks with clients as well. We're actually got two clients competing at the same show as me um, for that uh, that as well. So I'm basically going to teach you or show you what I'm doing with them as well. Uh, no pressure. But yeah, um, basically showing you how I'm peaking them as long as or as well as me doing it at the same time. So yeah, basically every move I make in prep or for the rest of prep in this peak week, you're going to see. So yeah. A lot of added workload on top of my situation but i feel like it's quite important essentially like with my other prep i felt like i didn't document all that much right and it is hard to document everything because essentially when you are like when you have no energy and like just uh, not that much like mental energy left in prep it's quite hard to like pick up the camera and then vlog everything however I, it's something that i really really regretted in 2021 is not like having a I suppose like taking a look back through data for example uh like all of my data from my last prep from my old coach got deleted so i don't i don't know anything about that whole entire prep which is kind of sucks a little bit but at the same time um yeah i should have recorded something right so this is basically what i'm going to do it's a bit of a selfish endeavor but at the same time it kind of gives you a good under like good understanding a good idea into yeah how how peak weeks kind of run um, so yeah, we'll take you through the process and take you through the general look and all the dramas, all the tribulations, everything, all the stressors that go on with it, exfoliating, the tanning, everything. It's a, it's a fun week, but yeah, anyway, basically daily vlogs from here. So I hope you like my face. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.